Hey, hello, this is Sanona from A4 Analytics and today we're gonna see about how to move a measure from one table to another table in Power BI. Stay tuned. In this video, we're gonna use a data set called Global Superstore. It's widely available on the Google and uh, tabbed users who are watching know very well about this data set. And if, if you are not using a Tableau, you can just go and Google it. <clears throat> it's a very popular one. Just type it. Just type it on the Google. Google Superstore data set. You can download it. And in this data set, we have uh, three tables. Order, people, returns, right? So, so that is the case. Let's say, so I just want to take uh, sales for uh, Australia country, not for all the countries. I just want to take a sales of Australia. I can do it. I can do it. So I can do it. We can use do it using a measure, right? So I'm gonna write a measure, and I'm just gonna name it sales for Australia. So, so I'm going to use a function called calculate sum of sales and the filter. So what is the filter? The filter is the country. Oops. Country. So Australia. So I have this in the people table. So as all these, so it's just going to We just need just create a simple table, you know, which have a country and sales. Very simple table, neat and nice, you know. So now I want this measure to be in this table in orders. So how we do that? There are two ways to do that. First one, we need to create a measure from this table or from this table you know this table needs to be selected when we try to create a measure you know you can see the dots if you click the more option you can write a measure that will be in order let's say you have written a very complex calculation you don't want to rewrite it copy and paste it somewhere you just want to keep this measure from this table people table just move it over to the orders how to do that so we can do it just click the measure and here in this area you can see the measure name and the home table so what we're gonna do so when you have it it's showing select table your measure should be stored in so we want this measure to be stored in in the orders table this is gonna click the orders this will automatically brings the table a measure from people table to the orders table it's so very simple trick, very simple one. You see, in the, in the people's table, it doesn't uh, need to be up here again. Very simple. So we have done, done that. Yeah, so uh, we're going to post more videos in upcoming days. And uh, please don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for the video. Thank you so much. See you, bye.